we have some preliminary unofficial numbers coming in over here on the projector screen and so far so good for this campaign headquarters. I want to introduce you now to the candidate himself. How is this day going so far for you? It's been a long day, but it's uh, it's been a great day. I think that uh, we've run a positive campaign. Uh, we've done it our way, which is to just be ourselves and uh, put our message out there and hope that it resonates with the voters. And to see these numbers starting to come in, what are you feeling at this moment? Well, you just never know until the final numbers are in, but uh, I'm confident, I'm feeling good, and we'll see how it goes. And as far as some of the important issues, I tried to brief us earlier, but in your own words, what do you hope voters really took away from your campaign? Well, my, my whole thing has been trying to get Fairfield back to its roots as an affordable community where all of our citizens have uh, are able to enjoy the services we have here. You know, times are tough right now, and they've been tough for a while, so it's just a matter of uh, getting us back to uh, being an affordable town again. And jumping into a race like this where it, you know, could be considered by some as an open, open seat, you yeah. know, the first selectman has only been in there for several months so far. What is that? What kind of opportunities does that present for you? Well, I think it really gave the voters uh, a fresh look at things. It gave us, uh, gave the voters an opportunity to really have a new choice. You know, it wasn't the same old, same old. Uh, all three candidates had, uh, you know, certain things they brought to the table. And I think it's a good thing for the town in general that we have uh, three very distinct views and, uh, you know, three new candidates. And uh, I think it's uh, going to be good for the town in the long run, whoever wins. And you've touted uh, your family as being an also an important part Amen of your that. campaign. Who's here with you tonight? Well, we have my daughter, Catherine, who is two years old, and I haven't seen her all day, so I miss her very much. And I have my son, RJ, who's 13, and my daughter, Bridget, who's 22, and my wife, Maureen, and uh, they've all been an integral part of my campaign team, and uh, I could not do this without them. Uh, they're, they're the strength that I have. Will you stick around? I mean, at this moment now, waiting for the clock to tick down and those final numbers to come in, do you sit and wait? What do you do at this point? Well, basically, just try not to be nervous. You know, what's done is done, and just watch the numbers come in, and uh, hopefully we'll be celebrating it a little while. And the biggest issue for this community today? I think the biggest issue for the community is affordability. It's about tax relief. It's about getting Fairfield back to its roots, again, as an affordable community. Uh, too many people have been forced out because of the economy and what's going on in the world, and uh, we need to to town for everyone again. Thank you so much for your time. Thank Enjoy. You and, and of course, we will keep you posted as those numbers continue to tick on in here. We hope to get you the latest on that as soon as we can. In Fairfield for now, Sarah Hagan, News 12, Connecticut.